Well, good afternoon. Welcome to our three keys to creating a goosebump marriage and relationships. For those of you who are joining us in whatever form, whether you're live or for many of you who might be watching this on replay, we want to welcome you. You know, for about a year, Linda and I have been planning what we are doing here, and we're excited to be able to share with you in this small little segment we're going to do today some of the keys that we found to create goosebump marriages and relationships. And first of all, people want to know, you know, what is that? Well, before we get started, we'd like to begin with prayer. Linda, would you be willing to start us off with a prayer? I would love to. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you and we thank you, Lord, for all the people that want to have their marriage restored or relationships or even are seeking uh, understanding and more wisdom from you, Lord, because this is the time that you need all of us to walk in the assignments and the purpose and the identity, especially your identity that you say we are. So we just thank you, Lord, that you are bringing us and you have the love to be able to bring us into the situation where we are willing to learn, we're willing to restore. So we just thank you, Lord, for these people. And we ask you, Father, that you would guide and direct every word that comes out of our mouths that you would be present. We ask for your presence to come into this meeting, this, this, um, this beautiful, perfect meeting, Lord, that you are providing for people. We ask your presence to come in and that you would guide every word and everything we do and say be according to your word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that, darling. So we want to begin to give you some key ideas here, and we put together some principles that we believe will you'll find to be very powerful. And each of you, when you look at where you are, many people remember seeing a picture like this or maybe feeling like this. Remember that first feeling when you were in your relationship, you were so excited. Maybe it was that first kiss that you had and you just were all tingly inside. Well, that's what a goosebump relationship is like. And whether you're new in a marriage, whether you're in the middle of a marriage, or you find yourself near the senior seasons of your marriage, it really doesn't matter where you are because you can create a goosebump relationship. And for those of you who want to be in a goosebump marriage or a future relationship, or for those of you who are in relationship with people and you just don't like where they are, you want them to get to a better place, that's what this session is all about. For each of you. And so as we look at each of these, we wanted to just share three keys with you. And this is a part of what's going to be in our the Secrets to Creating Loving Relationships program, because many of you who are a part of this now are curious and want to know more about what we'll be doing there. Well, we wanted to give you some gems right away that you could start practically using immediately today in your relationships. That's what a program that we do is all about giving you tools that you can immediately use in your take your day-to-day -day life so the first key to creating goosebump marriage or relationships is to seek first to understand then be understood how many times do you find yourself wanting to be able to tell somebody what they need to be doing or how they need to operate and when you do that it just creates pain because what you're doing is you're sharing your agenda on your agenda on your terms. And, you know, that doesn't really create goosebumps. It really creates disconnection. And so when you look at what you can do to create better understanding, it begins first by instead of sharing your agenda first, let them know where, let find out where they're coming from. Any comment you want to share on this? Yes, there are actually some questions that you can ask as you're letting them share. First of all, you need to let them share uninterrupted without you um, in injecting something that you don't understand or whatever. Let them share uninterrupted and look at them in the eyes. That way they know that you're listening. They know that you care. That's the most important thing. But then after that, there are some questions that you can ask, such as, um, what do you mean by that? Or could you tell me more about that? Or how did you feel when that happened? Or I hear, I hear what you're saying, or I see what you mean. It gives them 
I, it, it gives them comfort that you are trying to understand them, and which is the most, as I had already said, most important thing. The other thing you can do is, can you help me understand? <laughs> so if you're not understanding something or you want more from them, you want more content from them, which is always helpful, the more content you have, the better you're going to understand. So you might ask them, can you help me understand? What I'm hearing is whatever you're hearing and then repeat back to them so that whatever they're saying to you, they may get a better idea when you're repeating it back to them. When someone's really upset, their brain shuts down. So they may not actually be saying what they think they're saying. And so it's helpful for you to repeat that back to them. And then they can say yes or no. Don't be surprised if they say no, because what they're trying to communicate may not be at all what they're saying. So that helps both of you get on the same page. So a key to this, we've given you a couple tips here, those of you who are able to see it. And for those of you who are joining us either on a TV or phone or whatever medium you're using, the first key that we're sharing with you about creating a goosebump marriage or relationship is to seek first to understand them before being understood. So here's what you can do with that, is you can use this stem, I feel when, and I feel when you interrupt me, when that happens, it creates a disconnection. So that stem makes it easier for you to be able to connect with them. A couple more ideas would be, um, I felt hurt and disconnected when you didn't come home for dinner the whole week and didn't let me know what was going on. All right, so moving on to key two in a goosebump marriage or relationships is to release the power of affirmation on people. You know, we can't stress this enough. You know, when you get into a relationship, you're all googly eyed, you're all excited and you can't wait to do everything with each other. And then once you get married or you get into that relationship, you quote unquote, get to know each other, it's easy to take each other for granted. You start getting into patterns that could be healthy or unhealthy. And so the one key that you can do every day is to do the power of releasing affirmation on people. Now, affirmation is a Latin word, affirmare, which means to make firm. And very simply, one of the love languages that most people have is to have loving words shared with them. And so an affirmation is simply a compliment, something that you appreciate about them. And when you do that, you're gonna literally see the endorphins within them. There's a chemical release literally inside each person's body when they feel loved, cherished, and honored. So a question you can ask yourself is in your relationships, how are you creating more love and respect? How are you creating more of a relationship that causes them to say, wow, I can't wait to be with you instead of, oh, my God, I can't wait to be away from you. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't have that problem <laughs> most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the time. Well, affirmations are definitely uh, a declaration. They go deep inside the person, especially in these days, because no one is giving affirmations to anyone. They're either um, telling them how bad they are or what they didn't do right or sarcasm because they don't have uh, the guts to tell them what they really need to tell them. So we need to turn that around. This is the most important thing I would say for any relationship. I don't care how bad it is. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what conflict is happening. If you can turn this around with affirmations and you can just by giving someone a compliment Think it, it, if you're in conflict, you never can think about what the good things are about that person. So go to a higher level. What does God see in that person? What's going on that's right? And then affirm that. That's the most important thing because you can create safety in a relationship. You can create um, harmony quickly and eliminate a lot of the conflict. For example, if you're in conflict and you uh, are up against something and instead of immediately trying to go and tell somebody, well, this was your fault, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Take the opportunity to change the environment completely and give them an affirmation. Think about what is going right. 
what are what do you love about them even though at the moment they're doing the opposite that's still inside of them affirm that and in, if, when that's unexpected because the other person that's in conflict they expect something to come back at them but when you reverse it and you surprise them and you give them an affirmation about who they are what they mean to you it completely un, unties all the knots of the conflict and it you get you get back on the same page. You're more level headed, and then it also keeps the the uh, demonic the um, the enemy out of it because that's his greatest place where he loves to go. He loves to dig into that. When you take offense, he goes right there. So you can change that, and you can stop it by giving an affirmation about who they that person is, what's going right about the situation, and continue it from there. You know, one of the things that happens in every relationship that's damaging is we lose the love spark. At the core, everyone wants to be loved. And when they don't feel safe, they start to clam up. And if that continues year after year after year, you start to build up walls that create separation. And so one of the ways that you can create more affirmation are some stems. And so we've given you three stems. Would you be willing to share those with them? Sure. I appreciate. So honey, I appreciate that you are always affirming me. You're always telling me how whatever I'm doing, even if it isn't right, but you pick a piece and you tell me that, and that gives me comfort. And it also many times picks me up when I know I'm not doing very well, or I'm not doing the right thing. But when you affirm me, and that, that even that little piece, I can just release all the things that I'm already saying and judging about myself and I can move on. So I appreciate how much you do that for me. Awesome. And I love you. Ooh. I love the whole being of you. Now, you know, when you hear these kinds of words, most people hear the words, I love you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be more specific. And one of the things that I love about you is your commitment to love. Because even when we struggle, even when we're having a hard time with each other, which, by the way, yes, we have challenges, too, every day, just like you. It isn't perfect. Sometimes it's messy, just like your relationship. But what we've learned to do is to come back to love. So I love that you're willing to come back to love. Thank you. And the third one? What I notice is that you are working hard to keep the commitments that are really, really hard for you, that you um, keep at first and then kind of dribble off. Later yes, on. I do that yeah. too. <laughs> because they're totally against your whole personality and style and everything. But I'm noticing that you're really, really doubling down and working on it. And I so appreciate that. Well, you. thank you. And that gives me energy. When you do that, that gives me energy to do the same for you. Awesome. So. So there are three stems you can use. I appreciate, I love, and what I notice is, and when you start using that, I would suggest that you do at least three of those a day. Dr. McGrain suggests that every day, morning, afternoon, and evening, you give at least a specific affirmation of appreciation in the love language of the person you're giving it to, and then you watch what happens to that relationship. I'd like to add, this is so important because this provides safety in a relationship because these affirmations go deep inside of you. And when they do, that creates a safety level and an intimacy. If you want to increase your intimacy and you want to feel safe for in any kind of conflict, these affirmations are crucial. It feeds people for who they are because literally people will die. There are studies where babies die if they're not held or cuddled or talked to. They die. They can be fed, but they die. And so this is a crucial part, part where you're feeding somebody at the core. And when you do that, it increases intimacy. You just release all of the conflict, all of the anxiety, because you bank on that. And so this is one of the most important things that you can do to create intimacy, but also safety in a relationship so that when conflicts do come up, 
you rely on all of those affirmations. They're still inside of you. They're like a protection around you and they will operate at the moment they need to. So this is something that, as Bill already said, you need to do on a continual basis. Make it a commitment every day to give an affirmation morning, afternoon, and evening and watch what happens. I call it, you're making a deposit in not just your financial bank account, but your emotional and relational account. And the people who are hardest to give this to, you know, you might be around people who get sarcastic with you or, you know, what do you want from me? How come you're being so nice to me? All that's about is just go past that and continue. I call it the drip method. Just continue feeding them with affirmation and layer after layer, they're going to find out that you're being sincere and genuine and real. And when you're that way, love always overcomes every issue. So our third key to creating goosebump marriages is to ask versus tell. You know, we live in a society where people love to tell people the gospel according to, they love to dictate their opinions. And when we're wounded, what we do is we want more control. And if you can't get control in the world of your own life, you then start wanting to control other people. And when you do that, it damages relationships. And so very simply, you know, an agreement that Linda and I have, especially when we have big projects or big things that we want to do, like, you know, our commitment is if it's over $500, we're going to have a conversation about it. So we might say, hey, honey, I want to spend $500 on a new piece of technology. Would that be okay with you? And we'll have a discussion about it. So the first thing you want to do is to figure out what topics create issues in your relationship that's getting in the way of it being a goosebump relationship. And then take one of those issues and then create a new agreement around that. So in this case, with money, we decided that if it's over $500, we're going to have a discussion that we can agree to agree. And if we can't agree to agree, we'll come back and look at it later because maybe one of us feels very strong. You know, honey, it was on sale. I hear that often. It was on sale. I just had to have it. It was a good sale. <laughs> yeah. It's getting our ideas right now. <laughs> And, and for me, it might be something that, uh, you know, I just want and I just want it in a spontaneous moment. So make a decision instead of telling them, well, I just went ahead and did it. Ask them. Because you notice when you're asked something, it's respectful. It's loving. It's understanding. It creates more connection than disconnection. And part of what we're going to be doing in our program coming up starting next Tuesday, the secrets to creating loving relationships that no one was ever taught. We're going to get into the nitty gritty things that you need to be able to create a goosebump marriage relationship. In fact, we just had some people who signed up for the program and they said, can you assure us we're going to have goosebumps at the end of the program? And I said, we're going to give you the tools to be able to do that. But the bottom line is you have to do the work. You know, we live in a world today where we want instant everything. And many of you may be in relationships where you've been wounded before you got married, and those wounds are still affecting you today, and you haven't healed those wounds. Well, that's part of what we're going to do in our 90-day program with you, is to give you those skills to be able to heal it so that you can move forward. Because all of us have issues that have been going on in our past life that we thought that marrying whoever we would marry might fix and restore those things. But in many times, it gets worse because neither of you did the work you needed to do to clear it up. Here's the good news. The good news is we've never seen a circumstance, if both people are willing to work on it, that they can't clear and make their relationship at a higher level. And if you're those kind of people that you want your relationship to go another level, then what we're offering you is a way to do that. And we'll talk more about that later. But Again, on this three asks versus tell. Linda, do you have anything you want to share on that? Yes, oftentimes um, people will come at you with their conclusion. So you might ask them, how did you arrive at that conclusion? Instead of jumping at them because that's not the conclusion you wanted or expected or think is totally off base, just ask them that question. How did you arrive at that conclusion? That will give you all the information you need to move forward to help you have the discussion. So when you look at questions that you can ask versus tell, here are three that we wanna share with you. 
One of them is what I need from you is, and what this is, a need is vital. You see, most people don't get their needs and their wants met. So then they go do unhealthy things. And so a need is vital. It's essential that you have it. And there really aren't a lot of needs, food, oxygen, water, and love in a relationship. So you can say what I need from you is, and you want to be specific what's vital in this particular part. So as an example, what I need from you, Linda, is that you, when you leave a room, that you would turn the lights off. And what I want, that's the next step, what I want from you is that you'd be aware of that, that you would be willing to do that. And then the third thing is, would you be willing to do that for me? Would you be willing to do that for me? Yes, I would. I will work on it. Sometimes I'm coming back to that room, but I will work on turning the light off before I leave. <laughs> so in your relationship right now, whether you're married, single, you're taught, you're thinking as we're going through this, your brother, mother, sister, friend, somebody at work, you can use this idea right here to be able to create more of a goosebump relationship. It doesn't matter where it is, who it's with. Everybody wants love. Everybody wants respect. And you have to learn and relearn how to give it in the way that the person will receive it and value it. So again, those three questions that you can ask people are, what I need from you is, what I want from you is, and that's the how-to. The first is you make the request. What I want from you is you're giving them a specific of how you would like it to be. What I need from you is to let me finish what I'm saying without interrupting me. And I, what I want from you is to give me like three to five extra seconds before you want to comment on what I say. Would you be willing to do that for me? So practice that skill and see what happens. You know, many people ask us how we got started and how come we're doing this. And that is because we're committed to marriage. We love being married. And statistics show that families, children, your health, your well-being, your finances are better off when you're in a marriage. Our society is better off in marriages. And so we're not just talking to you about topics that will help you just with yourself, this will have ripple effect into your children, your grandchildren, your relatives, the community that you're in, the church that you're in, the city that you're in, the state that you're in, the country that you're in, the world that you're in, because the McGrain Global Centers is all about healing the emotional wounds that get in the way of people using the gifts God's given them. So an example of this, Many years ago, Lance and Annabelle Wallnow, many of you may know Lance and Annabelle, they're internationally known in ministry, they were in, in church work, they came to us because they were interested in taking our trainings, just like you're considering here. And here's a quotation that they shared with us that they really wanted people to know. And that is, we consider Bill and Linda McGrain our mentors to a deeper and more fulfilling life, marriage, family, and helping us impart God's message to the world. Spend time with them to acquire the leadership skills and the tools to re-energize yourself and your ministry. That's a powerful testimonial. And so we share that with you. We have thousands of testimonials. Many people who are on the call right now are graduates of our programs, and maybe later they may wanna share some things, but. We want you to know that we're committed to helping you get the skills and the tools that you need to get. You know, if you already knew how to do it, you probably wouldn't be on this call right now. There's a part of you that knows there's another level that you'd like to take your relationship to. And in order to do that, you got to put some work in. So if you're not willing to commit to yourself, to your marriage, to your family, and to the work that we want to do with you, get off the call right now because it's not going to make a difference. We can't help you change your life unless you do the work yourself. And we see success with people when they do what I call sustained interest in something. And I don't care how broken your marriage is. My suggestion to you, if you have a damaged relationship, just put it on pause. Give us three months to work with you in our program coming up. 
and you will see what happens. We've even got a two-year guarantee that if it wasn't worth the money that you put into it, we'll give you your money back, full refund. That's how committed we are to you. Now, in order for us to be able to give you that guarantee, well, you've got to do your work yourself. And so here are some action steps that you can take as you move forward. One thing that you can do, because some people want to just talk privately, is you can schedule. And some of you who have seen our, our emails, if you're into our emails, you've been seeing, schedule a free strategy call with me to discuss your particular situation. And very simply, you can go to mcgrain.com forward slash ask Bill McGrain. If you want to just go to mcgrain.com, you'll see a place where you can click to schedule an appointment. You can go there. It's free. And I will listen to you and hear what your issues are and then give you some practical steps that you may take and probably answer some questions you have about our next program coming up. So that's a activity that you can take action on right away. The next thing is, for those of you who've already been tantalized by what Linda and I have been sharing with you already, you want to have some fun. You want to enjoy your relationship. You want a year from now, your relationship to be in a better place than it was right now. You can take that step with us. But we're doing our part here with you. We're wanting you to take yourself to that next level and partner with us to help you do that. So that's how come we created the, the secrets to creating loving relationships that no one was ever taught. No one was ever taught. It starts January the 16th. And I'm going to share a different page here with you because for those of you who are interested in taking the next step that maybe aren't getting in our emails, if you want to get into our emails, you can simply go to our website, mcgrain.com, and that will give you the information that you need. I'm going to pull up my screen here and give you that information here for those of you who are with us. Uh, nope, that's not the right one. Let me go back here. So for those of you who are listening, whether you're on the, uh, on the phone or Facebook or driving, whatever it would be, just simply go to mcgrain.com, M-C-G-R-A-N-E.com, and you're going to see on the homepage, there's a free gift. You can sign up for that. It's about removing the chaos and creating more balance in your life. That will get you into our emails so that you get updated on what we're doing. But below that, you'll see the Creating Loving Relationships link, which gives you the information that you need to be able to sign up for it. In fact, better yet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the chat section right now for those of you who are with us. I'm going to put in the chat section the link that you can go to and give you all the information that you need to be able to register. But simply put, the, here we go. The details of this is it's, it's going to be next Tuesday, January the 16th, from 7 to 8.30 p.m., where Linda and I will take the modules through, take you through each of the modules, we are just completing the workbook. We have somebody who's created an awesome 85 page workbook that is just, we're so excited about it. We are looking forward to you get it. So when you register, here's what's gonna happen. You're going to get the link to the Tuesday night calls. You're gonna get a link to download the PDF of the workbook. And then we suggest that you print that out, bind it, or put, go to a printing company, have them put it into a bound booklet for you, because this is a tool that you're gonna be able to use the rest of your life. These are tools that we've put in here that literally have been taking generations to put together. We just condensed it down to make it easy for you. And you can just scan a topic that you may be addressing and having an issue with. But yet or better than that, we're gonna actually go through with you item by item to help you implement these ideas. Well, the workbook, is something that you can refer back to. Everything is written out for you. So you can go back. And the, the lady who's doing the graphics on this has done an incredible job. So we're just very excited to have her have the time and energy to be able to do it. And we're very excited. Oh, like said we have had, we've done tons of research, tons pause of- for, Pause for just a second. 
Are you seeing the page that says the secrets are creating loving relationships? If you do, Larry, give me a heads up. All right, please continue. Okay. Okay. So anyway, there is like uh, our combined trials and errors, our own conflict where we were finally able to work things out. Everything is in there so that you can relate and you have it to go back to. You can even, if you're in the moment, you can pick a section and go to that. And so this is something that truly you can have for a lifetime and you can actually even uh, transfer it down to your children so that they don't have to go through the kinds of things that we all had to go through to learn these secrets. So the simplicity of it is, it's a 90 day Tuesday nights. Part one of what you receive is the Tuesday nights. And for those of you who might have other obligations or things come up, we're giving you a replay of it for each session. You'll get an email each session sent to you the next day. And in the replay, here's something we're excited about. How many times have you been on a Zoom call or something and you hear somebody say something and you loved what they said, but you can't write it down fast enough? Well, we have a Zoom technology that puts the video with the script so that you can actually see item by item what was said. So you can cut, copy, and paste that, take out. You can take it out use it as you want, remember it, put it in your own notes, and it makes it easy for you to do. So that's a huge tool that we just were excited to be able to share with you. The other thing that you get is this workbook that will be sent to you once you register. The third part of what you get is to create a community. Because we're not together with you live, we've created a private uh, Facebook group called the Mastermind Group. And this is for all like-minded graduates. The only way that you get to be in this program is you've attended a McGrain program so that you have the layering and the skills that give people an understanding and a part of community. And so when you are a part of our program, you get that as another bonus to add to what's going on. The other part of how we the sessions go, many people ask, well, you know, how does this operate? Very simply, We'll get on 7 p.m. We will then begin with prayer. We will then be going through that particular chapter of topic that we're going through. Then we'll ask for Q&A. We'll have questions and answers. So those of you who are wanting to ask a specific question or give some feedback so we can build community because you're going to find some very like-minded, very interesting people. Already, we're, we're excited about showing up ourselves just because of the people who've already registered. Well, you get amazing support. I mean, just amazing support. People will come in and pray for you. People will, will help you. We've got a, a beautiful leaders that are leading this program and they are dedicated to helping you. And they're very highly, highly skilled, highly trained. And so what you are maybe not getting quite from the class, you can go to this mastermind group and they will help you one-on-one. -on -one. Let's talk money. You know, it costs a lot of money for us to put this together, and it costs money for you to be a part of this, and we're grateful that you're with us right now. But ask yourself, in all the years of your marriage or the relationships you're in, what's it costing you in emotions, in disconnection, in literal money? And if you were to get divorced, what would happen? What would a divorce cost you? We literally have had people who were literally, they, they one person hadn't signed the legal agreement to get divorced. And they talked to us before they did that. And we said, I'm not hearing enough to say that you need to get a divorce. I'm hearing that you guys haven't done the work to restore your marriage. And if you're willing to do that, well, they talked to their spouse, the spouse agreed. And they're now still today together. They tore up that divorce decree or that divorce papers, and they're now happily married together. Now, is it always perfect? No. But the difference is that you get the tools and the skills you need. And so when you come up to an issue that bumps you in a non-loving way, we're giving you those tools and resources to be able to do it. Well, can I share that the the couple that Bill's talking about actually have reported back to us, and now it's been a couple of years, 
But anyway, they feel more passion, more intimacy. They are happier than they have ever been. They were married for like, I think, 27 years or 30 years, something like that, if I remember correctly. And they are giggly and um, just so excited that they um, have a marriage that now they really, really, really love and enjoy, which they never thought possible before. And, and they even say, you know, we we really now that we know what we now know, we were really never really married. They had four children and still they felt disconnected. And what happens is, you know, as you get older and your kids are out of the house. Now, what are you going to do with each other? You look at each other and say, oh, my gosh. And unfortunately, what most people do, what men or women want, can you get out of the house and go somewhere? Literally, I was just talking to somebody yesterday. They have to leave their home during the day because the other person can't handle being in the environment with them. What a dangerous way to live. So look at the costs. It's costing you. What's it doing to your health? How many of you are literally going to doctors right now and spending thousands of dollars on examinations or testing or prescriptions and all of that could go away. We just were talking to somebody just earlier this week. They literally are off the medications that they've been on for years, anxiety, depression, all kinds of illnesses that we've seen when people get the healing, restoration takes place. And so when you ask yourself the tuition, the tuition for this program, when we add up all the different components that we're giving you, it's $6,997. And when we put all that together, we say, okay, well, people probably might not, they might want to spend that, but they may not be able to do that. So what we did is we brought the price down to $997. And then we said, okay, well, that might be good for an individual. Well, what about a person? What about a couple wants to do this? Many of you are listening now and you'd like to do it as a couple. We decided instead of charging you $2,000, we make it available to you as a couple. So if you're single, you can sign it up for 997. If you wanna do it as a couple, you can sign up for 997. And that was our way of being able to provide something to you that we think is a win-win and no risk. And we even are guaranteeing. So if you two years later don't feel that it wasn't worth your money, we will give you your money back two years later. Now, the reason we're so confident of that, now, obviously, you've got to do your work. If you're not doing your work, that's not going to work. But we're so confident in our ability to help you because of the hundreds and hundreds of people in marriages and relationships we've helped to restore. We can help you if you just give yourself a chance to be with us. So you have two options. You'll see hopefully on your screen, Larry, if you can tell me if they see two options there. Option one is to register for the 90 day program. And very simply, hopefully as you see that, the tuition for that is the 997. It gives you the details here. But here's what we've done. So you have, you have three options for payment. One is you can pay it in full. And that's the 997. The other option you have is you can make three payments of $375 once a month, and that will cover that. And then for those of you who need more flexibility, maybe you need to do it over six months or a year or two years, well, we've, we've aligned with a, uh, a, a financial service company called Affirm, which they will, at no credit impact to you, what you basically do at the bottom here, you see check your eligibility with a firm. You click on that and depending upon your credit history and you know your, your finances, they will give you interest free for six months, a year, even up to two years, the tuition paid over time. So now for anybody saying, well, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, those are the typical things, or I can't get my spouse to participate. Whatever your circumstances are, if you're an individual, you're gonna to get tools that are gonna help you either in, in, get to a place to have better relationships with all your family members and relatives and people you work with now. But for those of you who wanna get married, this is gonna give you the tools to prepare yourself to be ready for your mate. And for those of you who are already married and wanna to go to the next level of goosebump, then this is gonna give you the tools to do that. 
So financially, there's really, it's a win-win. It's a no-brainer. And very simply, all you have to do is click on the button that you want that sits your particular situation and register. Now, what's going to happen when you register? You'll get an email simply saying, thank you for registering. And the email will also say to you that we will be sending you a separate email, giving you all the details, the Zoom link, the uh, workbook PDF that you can download and then print out. All the details will also give you uh, access to the private Facebook mastermind group. We'll put all that in an email to you that you'll get after you have registered. So those are the steps to being able to create a goosebump marriage. We wanted to do several things with you today. One, anytime you attend a McGrain function, always have a notebook and pen because we're always gonna give you tips and ideas that you can use immediately that have value to your life immediately. And then secondly, we wanted to make this offer to you that if you know, you've heard today that, you know, what's the Lord telling you to do? What's your instincts telling you to do? Is it saying to sign up as an individual? Is it saying to sign up as a couple? Is it saying set a strategy call where either you on your own or you as a couple can get on a Zoom call or phone call with me and discuss your particular situation? Folks, we have done everything we know to make this easy for you to take the next step. But you have to take your next step. Any other comments you want to share? I would say that even taking a couple of the ideas, if you do them consistently, you can change your marriage. And so um, this is just chocked full, so much so that you may have trouble ingesting it all at once, that you might have to come back to it. It's just chocked full of information. And so I, if you ever have any ideas of increasing a relationship with anybody, it can be helpful. So that's what, I, I guess that's what I would say. I wish that I had had this. If I had had this even before we are in a second marriage, if I had had this before I got married my first time, I would have avoided about 30 years of pain and um, would have had a much better, um, a much better life in terms of those, those 30 years were just chalked with pain uh, to a level that went deep to other people as well. And I could have avoided all of that had I had any of these tools. So what we'd like to do now is to open it up to Q&A. And for those of you who are um, wanting to maybe leave a chat message, you can do that. Um, and Larry, if you see people on Facebook that have questions or things that they may want to bring up, maybe you can get on and bring those up. But we'd like to open this up now to any questions, things that you may want to ask about anything that we've discussed today. If you would like to, just very simply, you can either put it in the chat. I can see it now. I can also see, thank you, Tina, for putting in the uh, QR code. For those of you with a QR code, you can take your phone and you can simply take a, a picture of it. It will give you the link so that you can get access to that. And uh, I see what is the most essential ingredient to experiencing a goosebump mar mar marriage? The big D letter, desire. Desire is everything. When people are hungry for something, the teacher shows up. And there's no accident that those of you who are with us right now or those of you watching this on replay or watching it, there's a reason for that. You know, we pray, Linda and I, every day that, they, that the Lord will give us the tools and resources to help millions of people. Because imagine if people felt loved, cherished, and honored as an individual. And they then imparted that into their relationships and they imparted that into their children and their grandchildren, into their community and into their state and into their country. Wouldn't that influence the world? Wouldn't you say that our society today needs healthier role models and healthier people operating with these kinds of principles? You see, our selfish motivation for helping you, we don't need your money. We're already doing great on our own. We're doing this. It'd be easy for us to not do any of this. 
you know, this is work. But we're committed to it because the Lord had said, we've given you a mandate to make a difference on this planet to as many people as you can touch. And we've committed ourselves to doing this till our last breath. Because we know so many people are hurting. How many people in your family right now could benefit from this? Who in your mind have you been thinking about? Well, you can send them this link and say, hey, I was just on this event. And uh, I think this would be a great course. In fact, let's do it together. And some of you may be in a financial position. You may pay for those people. Now, we personally recommend that people pay whatever they can themselves. So because when you have skin in the game, you're more committed. So, but for some people, they may need that. So think about the people in your life that you could forward this information onto a marriage that's gone, you know, how many people do you know right now that have marriages that are stinking? They're not, they're not happy. They're looking at getting a divorce right now. You may be responsible for helping turn that around. So each of these situations creates an opportunity. The next thing is, is, will all the sessions be recorded to view later in case we miss one? Absolutely. Here's the great thing. We will be recording every one of these events. And then the next day, typically it's the next day, we send you a link that you can have. And then we recommend that you keep all of those links. In fact, you can download them to your own computer or phone if you'd like. Literally what we're giving you is a lifetime tool chest. So if you miss something, you can very simply watch the replay at your own leisure, at your own time. Now, when you do that, we recommend that you schedule an appointment. You know, when you have a doctor's appointment or you have an appointment to go pick up a check, you put it on your calendar, right? Well, we encourage you, if you can't make the live event, to put it on your schedule so that you make sure that you get exposed to all of them. Well, and, can I also say, sure. if you ever ask this question, um, that not only is the video available to you, the entire replay, but as Bill was saying, the script. And I, for me, I'm very visual. So that script is, is a, really the most powerful thing for me than the actual video itself. And so you literally can go to exactly what it was that you were trying to find or what you needed or what maybe you missed. And, and very quickly, because you can scan up and down and find it on the transcript. So that transcript is going to be invaluable to you. All right, so again, if you have something you wanna put in there, I'll care if you got some others. How did you and Linda manage to keep a spark alive through the thick and thin of your marriage? We would love to hear your story. Well, <clears throat> people always ask me, how did you get started doing what you're doing? I say P-A-I-N, pain, finding out I didn't know that I didn't know. And being so sick and tired of being miserable that I wanted to find out. And you heard Linda and I share, we both have been married before. And we know the pain of divorce. We know the pain that affects with your children. We know the struggle that it creates for family dynamics. But in our particular circumstances, we knew that to move forward, you have to have a spouse that's willing to do that. And we didn't feel from years of, relational activities and trying to make the relationship better, that they were as committed to that. And we individually realized that for happiness to happen for both parties and for our children, we needed to move on. So we met each other really at a wedding. And we had known each other, but I hadn't seen her for two years. We just said hi at the wedding and happened to be somebody that I worked with, happened to be a babysitter for you and your children, right? And we just started talking and she had some places to go. I was traveling. I had some things to go. I said, well, let's just stay in touch. And we did. And as we got to know each other better, we realized we had a lot in common. You see, you stay together because of your values. You fight and have conflict with each other because of your needs and your wants. And if you don't get your needs and wants met, it's going to create conflict, which then affects your values. So that's the short answer to that. There's a lot, and we'll share more about ourselves in uh, in the the program itself. Can I just add one thing? Sure. Because, because we had been in marriages before, we knew what we did not want to recreate. And I knew that I had been a part of creating what had happened in, in our relationship and, and a part of the pain. So as soon as we knew that this might be 
you know, we might be seeing one another or we might, uh, it might be going in a direction that we could possibly get involved. We made definite rules that were non-negotiable and we held each other accountable to them. And I would suggest that for every marriage, but maybe not right, not right now, not in the beginning, but that's what we did. And that was, that was instrumental because we kept each other accountable to that. So we would not, uh, as I said, that was non-negotiable. We would not allow that. And if that, if any of those were to be broken, then that was, that was, then we were out of the, the relationship. So you can do that at any stage of your relationship. Many of you probably need to create new restorations and new agreements. You know, where you were earlier in your marriage is probably different than it is now. And the things that are important to you are different now than they were then. So you can start this right away. Somebody is asking the question, how often a year do you offer this course? This is it. We don't know if we're going to be offering this course again. That's how come we're doing it live. That's how come we're having the replay. So for those of you who are looking at this, very simply take advantage of it now. If you don't take advantage of it now, you can, you'll can you get all the replays and you can watch it at whatever time of the year that you'd be interested in. Somebody's also asking how long is the course? There are two parts. Option one is uh, it's a 90 day. So it's, it's uh, basically three months, Tuesday nights from seven to eight thirty. And so it's basically a two hour commitment because think two hours commitment for the week, an hour and a half for the class, and then maybe half an hour of discussion or homework or growth work, as I like to call it, that you may be doing. I think that answers those questions. So let's go live. If, if somebody wants to uh, come on and ask a question, um, uh, Live, if you'll just, if you go down to the section where it says reactions, if you're on Zoom, you can just simply click on that and raise your hand or unmute yourself and put your video on. If you don't want to do video, you can very simply just put your audio on and ask any question that you may have at this time. So we'll open this up. Larry, yes. Yes, Bill and Linda, is there anything else you would like to share with us? We're all ears, whether it's a funny story, a secret, or something exciting that happened to you and Linda in your marriage. Somebody asked that, or you're asking that, Larry? I'm asking it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, first of all, we like to have fun. We Yes, in every marriage, you've got to have fun. You've got to have rest and uh, a place to be together and, and just laugh. We love to laugh. In fact, we even laugh at our mistakes. So maybe when we've made an agreement and then we know it didn't follow through, we'll look at each other or say one word. And then we both know and we just laugh. And we come back to it instantly. And that's where you all can get. You can get to a point where your conflicts can actually turn to laughter. You know, men, if you think about it, the top three things that women want in a relationship is they want to laugh. That's one of the top three things that, Research shows women want. The other thing is they want to be listened to without being told what to do. And they don't need you to fix everything. We think we have to fix everything. Guys, it's really simple. And we're going to, we're going to show you how to do this. We're going to actually give you practice in doing this because whether you're a man or a woman, you probably all have triggers that are going on. We have our own triggers every day. They happen to us every day. However, what we want to do is to reduce the triggers so that we're more in alignment because really what we want and probably what you want, you want your home to be a haven of peace. It needs to be a sanctuary of restoration because when you're out in the world, there's all these different things coming at you, trying to destroy the very fiber of yourself, your marriage, your family, our society. You see, these principles will really heal the world. Mm -hmm. And you can be a part of that. And for those of you who are in ministry or making a difference in other people's lives, you're going to get tools to be able to take yourself and yeah. your ministry and the way you make a difference to a whole nother level. So watch that and see what happens as you integrate these ideas. Does that answer that question for you, Larry? Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, for example, I'll, I'll give you in real time. It's really cold here. And we have been working our behinds off in preparation to put all this together. We did in two months what really would take two years to do. 
And we did it because we needed to get this ready to go at the beginning of the year. So we gave ourselves the deadline. January 16th is when this is going to happen. How are we going to put it all together? Here's the good news for all of you. It is coming together. The last piece we're putting together is the workbook, which will be done very soon, which will be emailed out to you when you sign up. Yeah, awesome. So what's going to happen tonight, because it's really cold, we like fires and we like movies. So tonight is a fire movie. Can I entice you into hot chocolate? Oh, absolutely. A hot chocolate. She says, I make, I make a mean hot chocolate. Now, the truth is I make the hot chocolate for myself. She just happens to like it. Thank God for that. I don't have to make a second time. <laughs> but, but anyhow, and by the way, we're going to have fun on this program. If it's not fun, we don't want to do it either. So, so for those of you who are worried about that, oh, my God, this is going to be so serious. It's going to make my marriage worse. And, oh, boy, we want to talk about things. We're going to have a good time, and you're going to laugh. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> so anybody else have any other questions that they want to bring up? If you have something, again, you can put it in the chat. If you want to come on live, let us see you. If you want to just keep your, your camera off. By the way, that's the other thing. We have all kinds of people, some people who want to be seen, some people who don't want to be heard, some people who don't want to be visually seen on screen. And so whatever your circumstance is, whatever you need to be feeling safe, just simply do what you need to do. And if you have issues about that, let us know and we'll help support you. All right. So who else? Anybody else have something they want to bring up, a question they want to ask? Nope. I think we've answered all, those, all their questions. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up then. And for those of you who want to take the next step with us in either option one, oh, I didn't explain that. Option one is the next 90 days, next Tuesday nights from 7 Eastern time to 8.30 p.m. You'll get a workbook. You'll get a part of the mastermind group. Option two goes more in depth. Option two is going to be after option one. It is start in April, and that will be taking the program into a whole nother level of depth and one-on-one -on -one support for you and your marriage. And so that will be done with other like-minded people, probably will be a smaller group of people. You'll get more individualized attention and you'll be able to work on specific issues that you're wanting to address and wanting our support in. So that would normally, I think the tuition for that is like $19,000, something when you add up 20, all of what you're getting. Close what is, to 20. It's close to $20,000. And uh, when you click on the link for option two, it will tell you what the tuition is. It's drastically reduced. And I think it's $4,999 to do option one and option two all together. So all you need to do is several steps. If you want to schedule a conversation with me to talk about your particular situation, simply go to that link. And uh, Larry, if you don't mind putting that link in the chat for people, for those of you who are not in, in uh, Zoom right now, you'd like to set up a live chat, either go to the emails that you're receiving from us, you get an email that says, uh, if I could get one this afternoon that says, if you want to schedule a Zoom, a, a, a um, a, a schedule a call with me, private call. You can do that. The other thing you can do is you can go, if those of you are not getting our emails, you can go to mcgrane.com. That's M-C-G-R-A-N-E.com. There's a thing that says free gift. Sign up for the free gift. You'll get a free article on getting out of the chaos and creating more balance in your life. And Larry, thank you for putting the link in there. So for those of you who want to schedule a call, you can go to that link or you can go to our website. The free access is there. The sign up is on our website. And the uh, third item that you can schedule a time with me individually is available as well. So thank you, Larry and Tina, for putting those in there. So with that, let's wrap this up with this question. If you don't take action now, a year from now, where do you think you'll be? In some cases, you may be divorced. In some cases, you may be ho-hum, the same of where you've been. And for others who take the step with us, 
we can guarantee you, you're going to have fun. You're going to have more joy, peace, relaxation in your life because you took this journey with us. And when you do that, you're going to be living who God really made you to be. So we thank you for being a part of this. If you're interested in the course or you know somebody who could, just simply forward this information on to them. But here's what I've learned. If you don't take action upon an idea that you know you need to do within 24 hours, there's a 95% chance you'll never do anything with that idea. So if you know that this is something that you need to do, take action now and then watch what happens. Linda, any final comments you want to share? I think you have done it. I am complete. Wow, darling, I love that. <laughs> That's a mystery unto itself. All right, I want to end this in prayer. And again, thank all of you for being here. And we look forward to taking this journey with you to the secrets, to creating loving relationships that no one <laughs> was ever taught. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time with these lovely people. Lord, you know where they are. You know what we have to offer. You can use, I guess. And we ask you, Lord, to create a new beginning, a fresh start for each person. Give them the resources, the understanding, and the tools to take the next step with us, Lord. And allow them to simply use the tools that we've given them already today to take that next step. We ask these things in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Great being with you. Look forward to seeing you. Hopefully, we will see you on January the 16th, next Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.